And here we can see on my 4K Fire Stick Max, it's now telling me that it's never checked for an update. And this is really how I've been trying to fix this particular issue with the Amazon updates. If we can basically tell our device that it doesn't need to check for updates or if it has an update, just forget about it. So that's basically one of the fixes I'm gonna present in this video today. The other one is the easier one, which is my update blocker. So I know it's running a little bit late and I can't confirm exactly how long this will last for, but I'm just trying my best at 10.25 in the evening just to help you guys hopefully stop these updates. So please do take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's you get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so depending on your device, whether it's a Fire OS 6 device like the 4K Fire Stick, or a Fire OS 7 device like the second generation Fire TV Cube or the 4K Fire Stick Max, the first thing you need to do straight away is to check can you install the original TDUK update blocker and does that actually block all three processes? If that does, then as I'll demonstrate in just a second, that will completely stop any of these updates coming to your device. But if you do have a device where you can't run the update blocker and I will demonstrate both scenarios, then you have to look at this potential workaround which I've been testing today. So for the first one, if you just go over to your settings, go to My Fire TV, go to developer options, make sure you've got install unknown apps enabled, click on that and make sure downloader is set to on. Once you've confirmed that, let's now open up downloader and type in this code 72503. And this will take you to the latest version of the update blocker and we can install that on our device first and see if that actually blocks the updates. Now, fortunately on my 4K Fire Stick Max, I can still fully use this to block those updates, but I know on some devices, they've already received the latest update and with that update, it actually breaks the update blocker. So let me quickly download that now, just so I can show you. And I will show you the scenario where this doesn't work anymore. Let's click on this green download button. Give that a second. You can click on install. We can now click on done. Let's now press the home key and let's start the update blocker. Here we are. So this is what it looks like. The first thing you have to do is click on connect. And once you can see connected, you can now start the process. So very, very easy to use. This was made for me by my developer and allows you to disable three critical processes on your device. And these processes are responsible for those Amazon updates. Now, if I go down to block, that basically means I want to block those Amazon updates. So let's click on that. And we can see straight away on my 4K Fire Stick Max, all three packages now say that the new state is disabled. If you see that on your device, whether it is Fire OS 7 or Fire OS 6, it means you've got there just in time and your device will now no longer receive any more updates from Amazon. So, and to confirm that the update blocker is working, let's now press the home key, go to settings, go to my fire tv where it says check for updates if you now click on that you get an update error so this just confirms one more time because of my update blocker your device is now no longer going to receive any updates from amazon so if this is your scenario well done you've made it you can carry on enjoying custom launches you can carry on using the device just how you like it and because of the update blocker no more changes are going to happen to your device so this is the scenario where everything is working fine. Let me now jump over to my 4K Fire Stick and I'll show you if the update blocker doesn't work and again, what we can do to stop these updates. Let's jump over to that now. Guys, let me quickly jump in uh, whilst editing. I did want to mention that one of the method which I have been testing is using this application, which is DNS 66. And what this allows you to do is to add addresses that you want to block directly onto your device. I've created a custom block list and this contains all of the addresses for those Amazon updates. So the only caveat or issue with this process is it uses a virtual VPN. So when I click on start, it's gonna run a VPN or a virtual VPN on my device. And whilst that's running, it means I can't run any other VPN. So it is a pretty big caveat as I know lots of you do run a VPN, but if you are somebody that doesn't use any VPN, 
then this method or process will be perfect for your device. So if you want to see that video, do leave me a comment below. So this is my 4K Fire Stick. If I start the update blocker, let's click on connect. We can see it's connected and you can see it confirms that this is a Fire OS 6 device. Now on this device, when I click on block updates, we can see it tries those three commands again. And we can see on this Fire OS 6 device, two of those processes can't be disabled. And because of that, we can't use the update blocker here. Now, if this is your scenario, and I suspect for many of you on both Fire OS 6 and 7, you are currently experiencing this. If I now press home, go to my Fire TV, check for updates. And we can see updates are now ready to install. So this way it's going to get a little bit tricky, guys. So what I've worked out, what my theory is, Amazon updates come in two forms. The small updates allow you to install the update whilst your device is still running and away you go. But the bigger updates, the ones that make more changes to your device, they require a reboot, which means even though your device has downloaded the update, it's not going to install it until you reboot your device. So with that in mind, I thought if I could delete this update, I could then reboot my device. And because the update has not been downloaded, nothing would install on my device and my device would not update to the latest. And again, in the background, even though it may download the latest update, as long as I clear it before I reboot my device, none of those updates would ever actually install. So that's my theory. And the way we can test that is if I open up ADB shell on my computer, or you can do it directly on the device. And if I now type in this command, which is basically PM clear and that package name is basically telling you to clear the contents of that package. So whichever updates have been downloaded to my device, they should then clear. So if I run that now, we can see it says success. And what does my 4k fire stick say? If I press back on the remote, back again, go back to my Fire TV, and we can see those updates have now been removed from my device. So wherever Amazon is trying to push onto us, we can actually clear it with that command. And as long as we clear that before we reboot our device, those big updates will never be able to be installed on our device. So that's my theory guys. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a custom toolbox with this one command, which basically means that with one click, you can clear these updates before you reboot your device. So I will be creating that in the next few days. So make sure you are subscribed with all notifications. As soon as that toolbox is ready, I will create a quick update video and demonstrate how it works. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I know lots of you are looking for a fix for this issue. I'm not saying this is the best one and I'm trying other alternatives. I will be sharing them with you as soon as I can. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video. Do try this command on your own device. If you are confident with ADB, let me know and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.